help. Wait, there's one thing I can say. Oh. What? When you talk to yourself like that, it really creeps me out. Patty, the sheriff's daughter, is a brilliant Swiss army knife of a sidekick. At first glance, Patty seems like she's just another precocious kid sidekick. But here's the thing. Patty is a sidekick to someone even more childish than she is. Compared to non-smokers, smokers have a 4.7 times greater chance of getting lung disease. One of her roles as a sidekick is to find clues and deliver exposition. She does this as well as anybody could be expected to in a game like this. It's fine, but it's not why she shines. One of her more important roles is to make sure that the main character gets along with other people. She can side with one side or the other as necessary to prod conversations along and smooth over any inconsistencies. This was missing from the first game, and it really didn't make that much sense that everybody would go along with this weird guy from out of town. But with Patty along to smooth things over, things go pretty well. This is not why she shines. <laughs> She's a real sharp one, as you can see, so I try to stay out of her way. In addition to helping York get along with the people within the game, she helps York get along with the player. She reigns York in. She insults him when he needs to be insulted, she disagrees when he needs to be disagreed with, and just in general, if he starts to be a little bit too off the wall, she can ground him. Which is fantastic because it lets him go twice as hard. Now that he has a safety net, he can do all sorts of stuff that he couldn't do before. Either way, you should stop doing it. It's really weird and, like, makes me wince whenever I hear it. Another important job she has is to make exploring the overworld a little bit more fun. If you're just wandering around picking up garbage, then it's not very much fun. But if you're with someone and they sometimes react or say things, it's a whole lot more interesting and charming. This isn't used quite as well as I'd like it to be. In particular, the conversations get interrupted by literally anything, so you can't actually listen to her while you're picking up garbage. That's a shame. Okay, Patty. I'm going to try asking you that question again. Patty's most important role by far is to be a funhouse mirror for York, and this is where she shines. Patty has stupid childish opinions. The exact same stupid childish opinions as York, just pointed slightly differently. This lets the devs really highlight how arbitrary and childish York is. This is incredibly important, and it was something that was a little bit missing from the first game. The fact that they have this funhouse mirror here really lets them amplify York's arbitrary childishness without letting it get out of control, because Patty is there to point out how arbitrary and childish he's being. This wouldn't have been of any use against any other hero or in any other game, but she is absolutely perfect for following York specifically. This is really a work of genius. I absolutely love that they put in a mini York to just go around and point out how silly and childish York is. Brilliant. I don't know if it was on purpose or on accident, but these devs put the absolute gold standard for a sidekick in this game. You know, her role changes later, but this is the first half hour that you're allowed to free roam, and Patty plays her role absolutely perfectly within this framework. We'll talk about how her role changes and expands later on, but if you're trying to think about whether or not you should put an assistant or a sidekick in your game, think about all of the things Patty can do. Can your sidekick do them? Zach, my mouth feels weird. <laughs>